Beauty. It is said that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and to me there's nothing more stunning than a sunrise on a clear, coastal day. But what makes a car beautiful in today's high-tech world? Is it a bank of fierce LED lights, a sharp, edgy exterior profile, or even a hair-raising exhaust, no matter how artificial? Honda's CRZ has all of these, but there's a twist. This isn't just a low-slung sports car. No, this is also the world's first sporty hybrid. OMG. Even though it's been around for more than a year, the CRZ still remains an elusive sight on Britain's roads, and that probably goes some way to explaining why it's such a head turner. Yes, hello guys, feast your eyes on my pearl white metallic paint. At just over four meters long and clearing the ground by only 15 centimeters, this puts the CRZ in the ring against its main competitor, the Volkswagen Scirocco. But Honda's clever engineering folk also say that they've drawn inspiration from the Lotus Elise and that they would like this sporty hybrid's handling to be on par with the Mini Coopers. Ambitious much? The inside is surprisingly buffed up. A tasty Moderno interior greets passengers. I'd tick the sat-nav and Bluetooth option, coupled with a subwoofer in the back that will literally blow your brains out. Honda are one of the best in the game at high quality interiors on a budget. It's just a shame that I can only share this with only one significant other. Because let's face it, no self-respecting human being wants to be caught in these types of compromising positions. With the car in normal mode, which you can select using one of these three high vis buttons to the right of the wheel, everything seems, well, normal. The throttle response isn't excellent, but thankfully the ride still remains firm enough not to be smushy. Plus the dash glows a nice blue hue which makes everything look a little bit cool. But I don't want blue, I want to be green. This is a hybrid after all, unlike the Toyota Prius. The CRZ is unable to just use its batteries for pottering around the town. However, with its hybrid engine and in econ mode, 56.5 miles per gallon is attainable. And you even get a nice little tree-hugging graphic showing what a nice environmentalist boy you've been in replanting the forest. There is one rather large problem. The CRZ's 1.5 petrol engine produces, wait for it, 112 horsepower, which means you really will be waiting and waiting for the power to come in. But hold on to your dentures because the CRZ isn't finished just yet. Hit the sport button and everything changes. The car hunkers down to the road with a stiffer suspension. The throttle response sharpens and begs you to flip the accelerator. And when you do, the electric motor helps you out with an extra 57 pound foot of torque, which means you can just about do the 0-62 run in under 10 seconds. Unbelievable performance? No. Good enough? For the time being. You will of course be destroying the very trees you just helped to grow and nourish and the dash will be angry, oh so angry at you for doing so. And so the real question becomes whether you fancy saving the planet or saving the face with your mates. If you're over the age of 10 you'll remember this, the original iPod. Okay so it didn't have a video camera or touch technology and it didn't even have a colour screen but back when it was released it was a symbol of the future in not only music playback but music technology. A few more iterations down the line and we have this, the shiny iPhone 4 which is, in my opinion, the best phone and music player on the market today. The Honda CRZ in the same way is the future. I can see it. But there are a few changes that need to be made. Exterior rear styling, 
interior rear legroom and giving that engine a bit more energy to be exciting. And only after all those tiny little improvements will the CRZ be a legend. For the time being, the future has never looked so bright.